Hello, people of Peopletopia. If you're still here, you're awesome. If you're not still here, it's just started. Welcome to the YouTubes. Welcome to the tubes of you. Okay, so what am I doing, what am I doing, what am I doing? What is our games on the chopping block today? Oh my god, I'm stealing things. Don't know. Ni hao. Hello, Nanolis. How are you, Nanolis? I was a point, I was checking my OBS settings. What have I currently got it set at? Is it 1080 or 720? 1920, 48 FPS. Perfect. Ni hao. We are doing the indie grab bag. The bag of indies. What is in today? What will we pull out of our grimy little mitts? Will we find gold or just really badly tarnished silver? We know not of these things and we know not of the stuff and the things in the box. Now some games I want to play more of, some games I want to play less of. We have a lot of demos on the block. An awful. Eh. I'd be better if I was more mentally happier. My brain is doing that thing that genuinely hates itself. But I'm here. I should be outside enjoying myself right now. But I genuinely cannot make myself want to. So, you know. I'm, I'm still here. It's fine. Can I even show off this game yet? Monster Master? Two user reviews. Been out officially for a month. Nope, still no, still no one playing it. Great. Right, this one, Mists of Noia. Which one's Mists of Noia? Mixed reviews. Why is this one mixed? But yeah, we're gonna go look at some cool-looking demos. Some of which we're gonna have to uninstall, apparently. In fact, the first thing up on the chopping block... God, I, I hate the fact that I'm now using his things. Meteora. Meteora we are going to activate, I think. Let's see if it actually does. Okay. Meteora is now active. So Meteora is, for those who don't know what Meteora is, yeah, Meteora, Meteora. You are a Meteor doing Meteora things. i just turn off the uh, chat box. So Meteora is, you are a Meteor. You do Meteor-based things. Cool, you want a G-Round game. Do you want to try this? Free on G-Round. But you are, quite literally, a meteor. You're doing meteor-based races in the cosmos. There is upgrades and possession. Of which, obviously I don't have access to any of these anymore. I think I need my controller plugged in. Let's plug in the controller. Do you know, we'll go with it. Okay. So the game is you are meteor. You do random meteor-based races. And it lags, apparently? Intriguing. So it's Q... Okay, power one, boost. There we go. So this is the game. You are a meteor. You have to get green to be better. You don't want to hit any regular meteors. Like the whole asteroid thing. But you want to get all the green. The green gives you points. Points mean prizes. The goal is simple. Grab the green, avoid the red, avoid the grey. Kill any other meteor trying to steal your meteor goodness. What does that mean? It means a few things, to be fair. It also means I should be streaming this on the right day. It should be Wednesday. But yeah, it's kind of like health. You lose health over time, because I am literally burning my life. 
Remember one of those? I used to have one of those. Chores are simple. Waz to move space bars and boost when it lets me. Uh, Q is power up on the left. E is power up on the right. Anything more? Oh my god, that is running really badly. Why is it running so badly? Yeah, that's better. Avoid the red, the red is explodes and does major damage. It's basically a racing survival game with meteors. But you know, it's a bit unique. So you can get upgrades, upgrades, it says upgrades, upgrade is basically, you know, your boost. And that's what you want, you just want it for boost. And that is basically the game. Yep. Boosting for the upgrade. There's not really much else to say. I mean, how are you? I, I mean, that's how I keep asking, how are you? I'm glad to see you around, analysts, enjoying the content I don't occasionally produce. Now, do I go for health or the gold? Ah! Watching a good series or on anyone's channel? It doesn't have to be mine. I know you don't like me. I know you hate me because I'm beautiful. Mr. Few. No, this is a G-Round sponsored game. G-Round, for those who don't know, they do two games free every week. And those games last for four weeks. Which means... If you like what you see, you can play this game for four weeks. Or it might be a lot less. I don't quite remember when the rotation is. It's every Thursday. I know that much. Why would you want to go faster? It's actually a racing game. I don't know how much the racing part com gets involved. I think there's a time component and a non-time component. But there are other races on the field. Or whatever you want to call them. Because you're aiming to get that red thing at the end. The red, that purple thing at the end. Okay, here's the other ones. Now, if you get behind them, you can destroy them. How it works is you get inside their trail, and it speeds up. But you can also see where the enemy's trying to get behind your trail, because you see a, a green skull at the bottom of the screen. A green skull is trying to murder you. Whereas you're trying to murder them. Making outside... Oh, I see. But hopefully no, nothing too much is damaged. Takedowns give you the boost. But yeah, I don't quite know why you'd want to do the whole speed up thing. If I'm bluntly honest. I've only done like the first couple of missions. Mech Warrior. Online. Seven takedowns. I mean, it gives you bonus points. Stars give you bonus points, and yeah, it uh, it's all right. Now it doesn't really, you know. Then what? You have upgrades. You upgrade your health. You can upgrade like your abilities, which is just like your meteor. But you know, the, but everything's uh, locked, so there isn't really any upgrades you can have a look at. Possession is locked. So all you have is your basic health upgrades, and that's it, really. So I can't really tell you much about the game. It's like the pump house. Can't really tell you much about the game because it doesn't like telling me things. Uh, so that's a thing. Uh, it doesn't really tell me anything else either. So 
So what am I meant to do about it? I don't know. Let's just go to another base then, I guess. What have we got? That one's not active. That's the beginning. That's Constellation Alpha. Ooh, here come all the races. Let's get our race on. Take down challenge. Okay. Now it's got some nice visuals, of course. But I don't know why it would to go down faster. I genuinely don't know. Like, maybe it's for these challenges? But it just doesn't make sense to me, because you won't really need to boost up. So I imagine there's going to be a reason in the future, because you're not really racing. I say that, it's amazingly a literal survival. You can actually see how many points these things have on them. So maybe it's based around points. Oh, I need to kill myself there. If I get this wrong, we'll literally destroy you. I mean, it's still, it's still, you know... Yeah, I kind of want to play over space 2 now, I think about it. And maybe it will. I never got a copy of Ever Space 2, but I do have Ever Space 1. Which one are you thinking of? The second one or the first one? Speed through Star Magnet. Let's activate the Star Magnet. I should have just hit it, it's been perfect. Speed boost? But yeah, I genuinely don't know why you're gonna go faster. Maybe it's just so you have more health at the end? No, never played it either. Have you ever thought of playing any of the X series, like X3 or X4? I'd highly recommend X. But I know X4 is all right. X3 and X2 are really bloody good though. X3 real good. X2 was how I found the series. X1 I've never played, but it's a lot clunkier. But I don't think there's much else to this game. I think I've really showed you about as, as much as there is. You get some pouts, of course, the obligatory speed. The obligatory grab all the stars. And we're done? Was I racing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Well, my friends say... I'm the highest amongst my friends. I've been played 3, 4 and regurgitated. Ugh. I've got all the DLC, but I haven't really, you know done much with it. Wait, did I just restart? Ten of ten, not of ten takedowns. Really? It's already making me replay things just to get better? Uh. It's an interesting premise. It's like a sub racing survival game, but right now you don't really need to race. And it's hard to see how they can make the, the, the game courses feel different. Like, you know, the courses will have lots of different asteroids and things upon them. That'll always be different. But mostly how these courses usually differentiate themselves is by the scenery. The scenery will always be the same. Will always be the same. So how's that going to affect people caring? 
Like, I'm not racing. I'm genuinely not racing like I thought I was, but it's just a not a really racing kind of game. You are literally zooming along, destroying other meteors to get to a black hole. Why? No idea why. No idea why whatsoever. I need to play the Lit Cube Star Wars mod. I've been watching, um, what's his face play it? On and off. sense of danger going on right now. If I really thought I was in trouble, I'd just go and get some more green. There's always more green. And there we are, we're done. Ari, I am playing games. Are you playing games, Ari? Why would you do not such a thing, or such not a thing such? How dare you work on this the day of Thursday? But yeah, it. I mean, the game seems interesting enough, but without variation. It's going to be interesting. Like, there's obviously variation. There's lot, it changes each and every time. But the problem is... You're doing the exact same thing. Like, if I'm going to do the same figure eight, but in one case it's like massive, you know, on a storm, uh, seaside area, and then another time it's in a desert, it looks different. It feels different. I don't know how this one can make itself feel different, if I'm honest. Next to the portal, you have 2.5 minutes. We'll do this. That's the thing. Each one is different, but it just doesn't look it. Anyway, stop working, Ari. Stop it. But I've been enjoying all these games with a one-handed mode. Like, see that? That's a beautiful view. That's a really beautiful background. That's the kind of thing you want to see. This one has a. This one does have a time limit. Oh god, it's actually quite difficult too. Oh god, see this. This makes me want to come back and play it again. The changing of the course. This is interesting. I've learnt your ways, game. No, I haven't. I lied. Uh, am I drunk? What is this? Oh my god, it's too frame rate. What was that? Rusted. How are you, good sir? Q 
huge success. Yeah, Meteors have definitely had to ask this. So that was a Meteora. This is a G-Round game sponsored by G-Round. Yes, they pay me to look at these games. They should. Some of them are really good. Some of them are okay. Angel, how are you? I am doing all right, I think. Going through the usual obligatory games. Right now, our first game is down on the list. Meteora. We are now going to do an intermission while we look for the next game. Let's do this. Reboot the songs. Let's go for this one, actually. Yes. Going okay. From game to game. I'm doing new games I've not played before now, Liz. I mean, I'm also, I do need to do the videos and stuff on that. I still need to do videos on that, but you know. Not right now. Deceit. Which one's Deceit? Deceit. Last played 2019. Have you ever played this one? Long fan lurk of your Star Trek series. Hope you enjoy the Indies. Try. Um... I need to carry on doing the Star Sector stuff. I apologise immensely for not having been up for the last couple of weeks or a month. That is entirely my fault. I apologise that I've been getting very behind on games. In fact, you can tell because I've released nothing today. Instead of doing this. Oh, Deceit's this one. Okay, Meteora is... Done. Uh, decision Red Days I want to do, but that'll be an actual video. I need to record that. Tape to tape? Let's actually have a look at tape to tape. May it lock on. Will we get a lock on? Tape to tape. I don't know much about tape to tape. Yes, as in hockey. And that's all you're going to get off of me. I don't know anything else. It's meant to be quite good, actually. Okay. Tape to Tape is about running the Greasy League. Hmm. That's, uh, hmm. Let's have a look. So welcome to Tape to Tape, Calvin Dore, the Supreme Sniper, 
Kelly Jelly, the Flying D, versus Rory McShaggy and Angus McShaggy. It's didn't mean use a keyboard, but it's not giving me the keyboard controls. If you actually look carefully, it's giving me controller controls. So I'm assuming this Kickstarter requires me to use it on a controller. Going on a rough limb there and guessing. I don't know how, um... Backwards left. Backward left, backward right. Drop, puck. Okay. Is this the anthem of Canada? So tape to tape is kind of like running your own hockey team, is how it described it to me. Now I know nothing about hockey, so this could be entirely correct. Go, go, go. Oh, baby. Oh, no. Oh, someone's tripped up. Dragon Man, how are you? I don't quite see how you meant to get past the goalkeeper. He's literally the same size. It doesn't seem to be that much uh, in the way of being, you know, subtle controls. Unless I'm missing it. Okay. So that is hit them in the face. Now we can chuck it. Go. I've learned the art of charging. <laughs> go, go, go. quite know what I'm doing. Oh no! Oh, he's down! I'll be honest, no one scored. <laughs> this is why I don't always show games on my channel, because sometimes you don't quite know how they're going to go. Tape to tape seemed interesting, but I'm mainly obviously after certain kind of strategy games, where people watch me for strategy. I know that, because they don't watch me for any other bloody thing. Puck, Lumber and Stuff Arena. Puck, Lumber and Stuff.
Oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh! It's a clean sweep! I thought it was a YouTube roast, did it? Yes! Wait, that went in! That went in! I heard it! I saw it! That was in! What? Outrageous! Outrageous! Hey, frenetic! going on? If the goalie cashed it, do we have to immediately have a, have a book off? What's going on here? Who's getting booked? Uh oh. Yeah, indie games of all varieties and strategizations sometimes require me to, you know. Oh, that was a shot and a half. Ah! Screw you, acting all intelligent because you have a puck. Bastard. Sorry about yeah, I know for anything. Calvin Dord Glorious Oh what? Still here, physically, I'm still here, I guess. Do, do. Oh, come on! How can it? I have no idea how hockey goes. There's a third thing? How many are there? Is there four quarters? Is it halves? I genuinely have no idea how hockey works. This is weird to me. I loved it. 
I might just lob it over the over the keeper. No. It's quite a fast game, you're moving extremely fast. Oh my god. Yeah! Screw you, Calvin Dord, unassisted! Even though someone literally handed it to him, it was unassisted. Completely unassisted. No one at any point helped him. Kilmore, you were useless and did not even exist, Kilmore. You were pathetic. How dare you pretend to stand where he stood once. Unless your name's Calvin Dord, you did not. Oh, victory! <coughs> victory Toronto! I call glorious victory. There we are, he's doing something weird. That's it. Dance awkwardly like everyone's watching. Okay. It still doesn't quite tell what tape to tape is. Like, what is tape to tape? Mm -hmm. You're looking up on the whole Kickstarter. I can look up these things all the time. I'm always trying to find new things. Tape to Tape is a roguelike hockey game. Ah. I know. A roguelike hockey game following along from Slay the Spire and the Hades. So there's a campaign world map with hu with hubs, which will allow you to upgrade your character's skills and abilities. So I, imag I imagine it'll give them better things to do. So it literally is a roguelike, a roguelike hockey team building game. Interesting. Very interesting. It's Kickstarter is officially succeeded too. All right, let's get back and pick our next game because that's the way. Uh -huh, uh -huh, I like it.
I don't know if Take to Take would make it on the on the regular video as a one-off video. That's why we do these random things. Do we get to see random games you wouldn't otherwise hear or see about? Meteora. Tape to tape. It also gives me an excuse to do some of these. What is the in-between? Pop, yeah, a random free indie game. Really, you just happen to find a game called Poppy's Playtime. Yeah, I'm sure that's, that sounds really fun, um, Rusted. Sounds like really, really something I want to play. Really relaxing, I imagine. Like this really lovely relaxing game, isn't it? I'm assuming it's completely peaceful. Yeah, I bet the second part is about spending time with, with um, something nice and stretchy and relaxing. Can I even show this? Even out? No, I don't really want to play this. I don't really want to play Hello Neighbor 2. Let's not boot that up right now. Let's not boot up Hello Neighbor 2. I'm still here. Wow. Wow, Ori. Wow, Ori. Wari. Wally. 
Oh, I'd love it. Someone, someone get me a meal. I'd absolutely love a meal. Someone get me a meal. Are you out? What do you mean, what do you want? Are you actually getting any food? Oh, <laughs> oh chicken would be awesome. In a sec. Let's switch over. We are now officially entering. What time is it? This works. Did it lock? Did it lock? Hasn't locked. No, uh, Bioshock, yeah, Bioshock original collection is now a thing. Just a sec. I'm currently having issues. My lock is not locked. Welcome to Vampire Survivors if it locks. A game it means to do for a while. Someone gave me this game. Is it actually locking? It's not locking. Let's get our vampire survivors on. So vampire survivors, as you know, is a wave-based survival game. As in, the waves are continuous and you'll need to survive for 30 minutes. Enemies get tougher and tougher and tougher. And, wait, 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 what? What, what, what? Hurry! What? Why? What? Ori! You didn't have to! Oh, you didn't have to. Chickens. Thank you very kindly. I dedicate my next death to you. Oh, Ari, um, Dave's getting laser eye surgery tomorrow, so he doesn't really want to be doing the whole Dead by Daylight stuff too much. But if you want to, in about two hours, we'll be doing Dead by Daylight. We can do a five-person recycle in and out. You're going to do that. But yeah, we're going to do some. We're going to cycle in and out of some uh, Dead by Daylight in about two hours. That's why I'm streaming now as opposed to in a couple of hours. I have dinner. Oh! Outside of that, um, sur Vampire Survivors is more accurately described as a survival bullet hell horror thingy. It's tough. It's fun. I have only completed it like twice so far. Each wave is different. I mean, each level has different enemies and types on it. Different types completely. 
Oh! Some are a lot easier than others. And it's designed entirely for one hand. Wazd and spacebar are all you need. Literally, Wazd and spacebar are all you need. Because you're not shooting. Everything happening on screen is being done automatically. Each attack does different things, like knives go in one direction. Uh, certain things fire at closest, some just fire randomly. You don't do any of the attacking. All this moida is being moided for you. But you know, it's great, it's glorious, moided. And I might actually release this as a video for those watching. This is currently happening on the st on the streams, the streams, not the steams, the streams. I have to cancel book club. No, you can't cancel book club. And how you upgrade the game is you pick up the little orbs. Uh, blue orbs give you some level up. Red orbs give you a lot more level up. And you just have to survive. Occasionally bosses appear which drop chests. Sometimes you get lucky and the chest gives you five items to pick from. Sometimes one. And if I go down south, look at how many enemies there are. Go down south, I will get an item. And you start off with five characters you can unlock. And then you do stuff which gives you more characters to unlock. And then you do stuff with them which gives you more characters to unlock. And then more items to unlock. And then more abilities to unlock. And eventually you have me like 25 characters. You don't know what you're doing. Each of his own special abilities or starters. And you're still finding new things. And each level is very varied and different from the rest. And picking the wrong abilities does things. And there are combinations. Like I pick the water. It said it evolves with the absorption stuff. Which means if I get the water to full level. That's the, the blue things on the screen. They will then start following me around and attacking people. The fire wand, if I have another thing, we'll start doing unlimited fireballs, weird stuff like that. You cannot be a book loafing. See, spinach will allow me to evolve my fire to something. I don't need to evolve things, but I definitely recommend doing it to make things more powerful. I'm heading purely towards this green marker down below, because then it just gives me another thing, another achievement, which might unlock another item I can find. Every little thing is going to be collected by me, because I am a loot whore. Loot whoring is in my blood. But this game's been out for a while. A lot of people have been playing this game. An awful lot of people have been playing this game. I am late to this game by... A couple of months, give or take. A couple of months, I'd say. Yeah, I'd say a couple of months. Oh, chicken to heal. Now, last character I built had books which surrounded them and garlic which united everything. And then I got that ability which currently destroys everything, including my experience. Yeah, it might have been around longer than a couple of months. I don't know. Uh. I don't know. By a country mile. Which said by a British person still sounds like I'm swearing. I apologise immensely. My god, how far down is this thing? The 17th of December is still a couple of months. Give or take a few extra. Was that a mine? What was that? I think this game, I've, I've seen a lot of streamers that still play this game for a lot. And this was really, really popular when it came out. There's even a few big channels still doing it now. Because obviously it's very relaxing with sudden hints of stress. Because you're just, you know, you're just doing one hand. You're just doing wazd. 
Milky Way map. Permanently enables the map in the pause menu. Ooh. Well, look at that. Oh, no. It's, it's, it is relaxing with moments of stress. Which one is it? Is it this one? No. Next one? Was it you? It was you. Now it's time to start making a fighty stand. Oh! Okay, it might be time to leave. I don't have enough power to do much damage right now. We need more upgrades. In fact, this will not be a successful run. Yes, it, it's a game I do genuinely recommend to people. It's a very fun game. I've recently been playing it a lot today, honestly. I've been playing an awful lot today, and I've been massively enjoying it. In fact, Rather than record, I spent three hours on this game. Which is why I'm streaming. Yes, why I'm streaming because I spent three hours out of my day playing it. Now, you can do keyboard on two sides. Okay, this is me on the arrow keys. This is me on the WASD keys. Spacebar or enter the same thing. So technically you can have two people playing the game at the same time. But you can't because there's no cooperative. But if there was, you could on the same keyboard. Do you remember the days when two people used to play on the same keyboard? Those are fun days. Now I'm going to die here because my character is just too, too weak. I'm going to play a different character. <laughs> Give you anxiety. And as you can see, I have unlocked the Milky Way map. Now, the game is a rogue-like. So you get gold. The gold is then brought into this screen, which you can use to upgrade. I've got, like, extra projectiles, speed, look, stuff like that. There's also, whenever you start, the other characters. As you can see, I have... Oh, it's only 12. Let's try Crochy. Start with one revival. Game of more at 33. Permanent 40% duration. One extra level. Eh. Christina. Oh, you start with the big pulse. Let's bring you back to the library. On hyper mode. Wait, if we did a library in hyper mode, I'd like for you to be... Uh, Imelda? 10% faster every 5 levels. Permanent plus 1. I'd rather be Gennaro. On the Hyper Library. The Hyper Bree. Let's do this. This is the game. So each character, like I say, starts off with different abilities. This one starts off with the knife throwing. And now I have access to... The Magic Wandering. And I'm on hyper mode. Everything is super, super hyper. Uh, more projectiles. There we go. Every little thing must die. Now I've completed this level. I've completed this level in hyper mode. And it's one of the easy ones. Ebony wings. Bombard in a circling zone. What's ebony wings? Oh! I have a doom pigeon now. Now, I do have regenerating health. I have 0.1 regenerating health. So, eventually, you know. Pomerola. Character cost 0.2 per second. Let's get spinach. So, the build's already completely different to last time. Because last time I'd already got books by now. And I had lightning and water. Right now, I just have Bombardment Death Pigeon. Do you know? Would be a good heavy metal name. God, there's so many on hyper mode. Lysandia! 18 months. 
Guess what time it is. It's that time where you pop in, say hello, and then leave immediately. I love those days. But thank you for the 18 months. I already missed a garlic. There we are. Kill them all. So I don't think I'll be able to complete this one. Last time I had significantly better drops and things. I'm. This is uh, going to be an interesting one. Uh, wings. Let's get the water down, I guess. Oh no. Taking too many hits. Too many hits, people. But yeah, getting the right items, right combination is a big part of the game. And the more you do stuff, the more you unlock. So yeah. I, there's a regular pigeon and the death pigeon. The death pigeon is now more deathy, but luckily it's purple, so I like it more. I'm assuming it's a pigeon. It might be a death dove. You've had a peace dove, so it's a death dove. Uh oh, here come the mummies. Oh no, the copyright claim's been released. That's five out of nine copyright claims have been released. Three have been sustained because they have. There we go. Okay, so I need absorption to make the water move. I don't know what the pigeon needs. I definitely want the duplicator. There's a boss. There's a boss on the screen. Okay, the boss is dead. I need that chest. What are we going to get? I have gained... Is that the upgraded ring already? What is that? More projectiles. I'll take more projectiles. Okay, the King's Bible. I'm taking the King's Bible. As you can see, it's getting slightly hectic. There's the peach one. Now I have two birds. I have two deployable birds. Oh my god, the amount of missile mortar attack. Oh, no telling me how things work, Lusted. Not a big fan of that. I'll figure it out or I'll die trying. Yeah, I don't mind being told if I specifically ask for something. Otherwise, I'm not a fan of being told how, you know, how things work in certain situations. It's the fun of finding things out is the best way. Bracer will give me, will be able to me evolve my knives. Yes, I want that. There's a few of them on the screen. Uh, 
I think my Bible's to last longer, if I'm honest. This is a game I could happily spend several hours on, so I might stream it more. I might stream this one a lot more. Whether I win is a different matter, but you know, I'd like to pretend I can win. I don't know if I'll be able to with my current build. It's worth a try. At least the water will now be evolved. The Bible needs something else. Can't remember. Oh, it's a three! Will it give me a five? Come on, look! Oh, yeah! Let's carry on fighting! Oh, so yeah, I absolutely love this game. Completely simple to play, literally one hand. Waz to move, spacebar to click OK every now and then. Absolutely awesomely quick, easy, fast, frantic. That allows me to evolve the book. There we are. Permanent books. That's just madness, those birds. Dodging required. I might have to go back and get that food. I think I didn't eat. Did I eat the food? Mm, no, I did not eat the food. So I can't find it. Maybe I did then. Murder, murder. Killing everyone on the hyper mode. There's a lot of ghosts. There's a lot of ghosts. Evolved the New Testament into the Old Testament for more righteous wrath. They really do, don't they? An extremely satisfying level of madness. What's the bosses there? The problem with having this build is a lot of it requires me to have the artillery pieces moving around me as you see and the water, the water and the birds are long range artillery pieces and they fire intermittently so I need the bibles to activate more because the bibles need to activate more to stop this horde from touching me and that of course is an issue because they only activate every oh God, few seconds so I need the artillery to be more accurate and they're not that accurate. Oh my god, it's getting worse. Hyper mode. Oh yes. Okay. Okay. I've got every time I get the books, I just rush the rush the crowd. Oh my god. Yeah, that's how I get the books. Rush them. Come on, books. 
Uh, more damage. <laughs> oh my gods. Uh, more projectiles. I think there was a boss over there. Yeah, there he is. He's stuck at the corner. There's got to be a boss. He's the only one of that type here. Give me the box. Come on. Oh. Du, 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 du. I've killed 6,000 enemies so far. 6,000 enemies have died to me. Just uh, doing this. Now there's also obviously other pickups you can find. Like that one which destroys everything. There's also like uh, absorption... Uh, freezing stuff like that. They're quite rare. They do happen. You can, like, upgrade your look in the case you get more of them. Now, what would vampires look for skeleton? Ray Shella, welcome to me doing survivors. I'm a vampire survivor. We have our own group and everything. Oh my god. The numbers are getting slightly higher. Slightly more insane still scaring them. Oh. I think it depends on what you're talking about. Vampire survivors. People who survive vampires. Probably a dinner date with a vampire. You know how those can go, they're usually a bit of dull. Uh oh. Taking too many hits. Taking too many hits. The enemy's too fast. Unfortunately, it's getting to a stage where I can't read chat anymore. So if anyone's watching this live, I don't know what's going on. I need some food. I need floor chicken. I need floor chicken. Uh, more damage. Hey, quickly. Oh my god. Where's the floor chicken? I need health. Grab this, come on, come on. Hi, Shaz. How are you, Shaz? More books! My god, there's so much going on. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, freeze! Food! Yeah, and it's literally one handed control, which is Waz. I'm usually Waz because every single combat action is done by the character automatically. Not a boss. Fresh from the final fight kitchen. Hey, Lofi. Is this, will this game be too anxious for you? Oh, we, yeah, it's a little bit... Starts off quite peaceful, quite relaxing. And then slowly builds up to madness. Now, this is hyper mode. Usually the enemies are a lot less at 13 minutes in. But this is hyper mode. Are you hypersensitive? Hyperactive? Hyper anxious? I'm all of those. And right now, I'm getting my murder on. Uh, more water drops. 
throw all the water. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Come back, books. Come back, books. It's just a little bit hectic right now. Just a little bit hectic. Books, come on, books! Come on, books! You can only have, while well, I'm at it, six weapons. Your character starts with one weapon, obviously, only pick up five randomly. And you can have six upgrades. There's six weapons, one obviously you start with. And six random upgrades. Now, there's synergies to certain upgrades. Like, uh, the attraction will attract the water. And so on and so forth. Right now, of course, I just want anything to upgrade. More knives! Oh my gods! There's another boss just there! Come on, books! Come on, books! Ooh, my gods! This is level two of several. Level two. Yes, book upgrade. Is it the best book upgrade? It's just more book damage. And now I want, I have to pick. Uh, my character's now lucky up. It's a shame, but two of my things won't be fully upgraded. Oh my God. More water throwing damage. We're 15 minutes in. We only have to survive till 30 minutes. Uh, more base damage. I will be lucky or I will win. Oh my god. Floor chicken! At 30 you win. And probably my dinner will be ready. Floor chicken is being devoured and then Arya sent me real chicken. Real chicken will also be devoured. Just a few enemies are on the screen right now, for those who are wondering. Just a few. Uh oh, uh oh, nearly dead, nearly dead. Uh oh, uh oh. I need floor chicken. It's time to die, Mr. Bond. Oh my god. Okay, the books are working. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Floor chicken! Oh, gold! Oh, this isn't good. I haven't got any ability to use gold. More money, more money! Okay, the ghosts are the big problem. They take too much damage. 
Uh, more base damage, more of them. Bloody spinaches. I've got the boss here, it's a witch. Oh, I'm nearly dead. Those ghosts will nearly insta kill me. Come on. It takes 10 seconds for one piece of health to come back. I should have graded health, I knew it! I killed 15,000 enemies. Well, several of them obviously just put back in their place. They are ghosts. Floor chicken! Uh, more combat. No. Oh. It's slightly difficult right now to find a safe place to breathe. Floor chicken! My look is paid off. Oh! Oh, vampire book! My book's upgraded. I now have the Death Testament. Permanent bookage. Now we're a god. Now we have the unlimited artillery boss. There we go. Oh, and here's another demon. Just casually moonwalking in. I'm going to have to move for him annoyingly. He's slightly more powerful than the average book. Wait, is that the unlimited knives? Yes! Unlimited knives! If anyone can tell what's currently going on on the screen, you'd be doing better than I am. Unlimited knives! Remember before when I was scared of everything? Now I'm a death machine. <laughs> An absolute death machine.
Wait, what did I pick? It gave me an upgrade. This is a chess sport. Oh, there it is. Five star. That's everything. I'm double lucky. Keep my luck to keep going. This is. Oh, I now have the upgraded water. Now it follows me around. Okay, water now follows me around. It gets bigger as time goes by. Oh my god. Yeah, seriously, if you can tell what the hell's going on right now, you are doing good. Occasionally enemies get through, then they die. Oh, don't I think it is? Vandalier, you need ebony, really? Oh my god. I now have a space for another weapon! Yeah, fire. I could probably genuinely stand in the corner and just wait now. In fact, maybe I will. Just see how it goes. Enemies are occasionally getting through though. Here comes another boss. And the boss actually can get through. Actually, so can most of these enemies. And I'm doomed. Yeah, sadly, the boss can get through. And when the boss means I have to move, and when I have to move, the other things get through. I'm dead. I got killed. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, I love this game. 69! We died at level 69. Nice. If kill 50 entries in the collection is brackish. Unite. 500 gold. Yeah. But yeah. That was Vampire Survivors. I quite like Vampire Survivors. It's a damn good game. I didn't think I would, but here we are. You take care, Rusted. Let's go back to another break until we have time for another game of awesome. 
Another game of awesome possibilities, but food has been sent to me. Let's see what comes first, will it be food or this break ending? Warlord Britannia? Let me have a look. Oh, I remember this. Bloody hell, is this actually a real game now? It's actually a real game now. Oh my god. There's certain games you hear about and you forget it exists because you just move on. I may have to have a look at it, I may even have to pick it up briefly and have a look. Join the Spider Heck multiplayer open playtest. That's the point. How many playtests are made? Maybe we can find a good playtest. The Necrosmith playtest. Yeah. The Monsters Domain playtest. Eh. Hidden Deep playtest. I'm not. The Hidden Deep playtest. Am I still in this? The Galahad 3093 playtest from March last year. Oh, I remember this one. I quite liked it. There's a bit. Eh. How is everyone while we have a look? How is everybody? How is everybody? A cell sword's been Upgraded yet? Or is it no longer available. Cell Swords is no longer available. Of course it isn't. <laughs> cool. Oh, that's what they've done with it. In pain, Nanalis. What's wrong? What's wrong, good buddy?
not sure I can find a good-ish game I'd like to show off to you guys on monitors. There's a few games I'd like to play, but not really anything newish I'd like to show off. Tennis shoes. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah, sorry, you distracted me. Uh. Okay, you need to stop now, unless I'm literally getting food soon. You need to stop. <laughs> oh. He did that on purpose. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and that's... Okay. I think my food just arrived. Just a second. So my food is apparently just outside. So what I'm going to do is, as I wasn't do the fourth game, I'm going to go get my food. So I'm going to do the end screen now and go get my stuff and do the nibbles and the noms, which is a lot of chicken strips, some chips, and according to this listing here, a fish burger for some reason. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for being awesome and epic. We're hitting the end screen. Take care and remember, you're all bloody awesome. Except for that one burger was telling me about a blister just before my food arrived. Because that's going to make it taste so good. I'm on to you. Take care. Be awesome. Chickens. Also, we'll be doing regular streams at regular times. This is just because I'll be doing a later stream in maybe an hour's time. We'll have to see. In an hour's time, maybe dead by daylight. Until then, goodbye.
the castle. Ain't no princess inside. Ain't nobody gonna come and find me. I got mad reptilian pride. If you wanna step in my kingdom, I get a real nice surprise. Ain't nobody see me coming. Even if you got special eyes. Even if they gotta run up on me. I got tricks and traps and bait. If they got big plans for later. But they tell them you're gonna be late. I got a personal private army. Made out of a bunch of mice. Now isn't that so very nice? Why must I sit here and explain Now we're gonna take control Everyone will roll on me, get thrown upon the ground Cause we don't mess all around I'm the boss, I'm the boss I'm very, very sorry for you Somebody put out that racket If there's trouble, you're about to attract it G-Cash, my moves is so practice Like a phantom, watch while I smash this Fly honeys to my room like it's tragic Don't make wave silence, it's magic If there's a fever, I'ma damn well catch it If there's a record, I'ma damn well scratch it Yo, check out my mad flows Not this minion, gingerbread corn rose Everyone here knows I'm the Nero Stop, one, two, three, four, hero Rolling, don't even need a step I engineer beats like Emotep Players run when they see me on the mic check I got spikes that'll make a dude's life wreck Hey ladies, I'm Steffi Give me a digits, phone getting heavy I'll pick it up, you can see what we start I might just break your heart Ain't never easy, be it's lazy But I get by I'm in my element But I make a baby cry If you ever try to cross me There'll be hell to pay So stay out of my You know what? Don't. Cause I'm the boss. I'm the boss. 